And anytime I find lovies, I pick them up and they are going to range from bread and butter to big money. Some of them can go for over a hundred dollars if you find the right ones, but people lose these or they get damaged and their kid wants it and they need a replacement. So they turn to eBay. This one actually sold for $55.15, which is fantastic. And it's super, super cute. And she got this at a pop-up consignment shop for $3. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am bringing you 35 Bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. These items come from my Bolo Buddies members, members of my YouTube channel. That means they have joined memberships at level two or up to be a part of this video. If you would like to join, there is a link down below. All right, I'm gonna tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it and what it sold for. And hopefully this is gonna help all of us learn what to be looking for when we are outsourcing. All right, let's start with the first item here. And this one comes from the Thrifty Nichols. Now, she um, does some thread up boxes. She sells on eBay, but she also has a booth. And she will teach you how she sells in a booth, which is super, super cool. I've always thought it would be super fun, but I imagine it is a lot of work. So if you have a booth, let me know in the comments, is it a lot of work? Definitely go sub her up for some reseller talk. All right, what did she find? She found this East Carolina University ECU PD, the pirate hand-stitched framed art. And this is what this guy looks like. Uh, would you have picked this up or would you have walked right past it? Um, she got this at the Goodwill for $3 and she sold it for $45 plus shipping. The next item is this Harbor Second Brown Distress Tanned Genuine Leather Wallet Clutch Anchor Logo. And she said that this brand sells well for her. So not a brand I've ever heard of. So definitely good to know. Probably pretty easy to recognize if you see it with that little anchor there. And she got this at the Goodwill for $2.99 and sold it for a best offer of $30. The next item she sold is this dress. This is a Calvin Klein women's size eight dress. It is a fit and flare midi. And she got this at the Goodwill bins. This was a part of the hashtag bins 10 challenge that we uh, did. It was a scavenger hunt and I sent my members into the Goodwill bins to search for 10 items. So if you want to see um, all of those videos, it was super fun put hashtag Ben's 10 into the YouTube search and it will pull up all of the people that participated. And this dress cost her about 88 cents and she sold it for $32 plus shipping. The next item is this straw handmade Swedish goat. <laughs> I just, I saw this in her store. She had already sent me her three and I'm like, will you Give me the information on this thing because I'm going to tell you right now, there is no way I would have picked this thing up. I would have walked right past it and not even thought twice about it. So um, let me know if you guys would have picked it up. She got it at the Goodwill for a dollar and she sold it for $65 plus shipping. All right. The next items come from Flippin' It Good. And he is, he does a lot of retail arbitrage and he finds the most amazing stuff at like Ross and TJ Maxx and places like that. But he's also doing pallets, lost cargo pallets. Check him out for information about this. Just crazy. Um, let's see what he sold here. He sold this Harley jacket. He got it at a yard sale for $5 and he flipped it for $95. It is a Harley Davidson men's size large black riding bomber motorcycle jacket. And you can see right here, it's got the, the big, um, I'm going to guess, see, it's, I think it's just a patch, maybe an embroidered patch, but I like how he did his photo because you can see the front and the back. So that's a nice little tip there. All right, the next item is this 1999 Resident Evil PlayStation 1 video game tested and complete. He got this at a yard sale for $3 and it sold in three days for a best offer of $60 plus shipping. This little Levi's Farm Women's 
jumpsuit. Um, I do not recommend using, um, oh, what do you call it? Where you use their photo. I would, I would post this. It does look better on the model, but be very careful doing that. Um, I know a lot of people do it on Poshmark, but I know other people have said that they've had their listings um, pulled for that. Uh, I think certain brands are more um, strict about it than other brands, but uh, I just would err on the side of caution and not use um, stock photos. That is the word. I would not do that. Um, he got this at Ross for $9.99 and he sold this for $110 plus shipping. So got the cool little parrot on the side. Really, really cool item. The next item comes from Gail's New and Vintage, and she does not have a YouTube channel. This is her eBay store. Uh, lots and lots of items, big, huge range of items, you know, from toys to glassware, um, clothing. So check her out there. And she sells on, whoops, oh, I deleted it. Did you guys see it? Oh. I accidentally hit the X. Anyway, it was that belt buckle. You have to maybe rewind and pause real quick to see it. I am so sorry. But she got it at an estate sale for free and sold it for $49.99. The next item is this vintage Cambridge Wildflower Clear Relish Set. Etched six pieces, 12 by 12. And this came from an estate sale. She also got this free and it sold for $110.49. Another item I would have walked right past and definitely would not look forward to shipping. Ah, all right. This horse is a, uh, the trail of the painted ponies. And it is a fancy little horse here. If you guys don't know about these, some of these can go for really big money. Troy Mountain Man Treasure over on his YouTube channel has been selling some of these for big bucks. Now, they do range from bread and butter to big money. This one sold for a best offer of $35, and she ended up getting this for free as well. But if you see these, definitely, definitely look up that information on the bottom, and um, some of them, big bucks. Check out Troy Mountain Man Treasure. And again, this is Gail's new and vintage. She is linked down in the description of this video, um, her eBay store is. And all of the YouTubers that participated in this video are also linked down below. So check them out for reseller content. Speaking of amazing reseller content, the Rebel Reseller, her and her husband are fantastic. They sell um, tons and tons of plush, but they sell other things also. But she is like my plush go-to. Um, her and Zombie Bargain Hunter, they just, they're amazing. And they just sell so much plush. But anyway, let's see what we've got here that she sold. And it's not plush. So, and it's on Poshmark, which you gotta love. I sell hard goods on Poshmark. I have a whole slew of videos of what sold on Poshmark. And it's mostly, I, I really just show you my hard goods. I don't really show my clothing. Um, I do sell clothing over there, but it's just stuff that's been listed for a long time. So this is a brass horn taper double candlestick candle holder. And she got this for a few bucks in a big lot. And she sold it for a uh, $56 on Poshmark. So hard goods on Poshmark, definitely a thing. I highly recommend Poshmark. If you're not selling on Poshmark, what I do is I start my items on eBay. And then I cross post them to Poshmark and Mercari. And I use lists perfectly. If you'd like to check that out, there's a video that in the description that shows you how to do that. Um, I need to update the the video because I recently did a video that shows you how to use the catalog. I'm trying to like talk myself into using the catalog because it has so many benefits. Um, but definitely check out that video I just did recently. If you would like to try List Perfectly, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. Um, hard goods on Poshmark and Rebel sells on Bonanza also. And I did Bonanza for a while, many, many, many years ago, and I didn't sell very much over there. And I don't think it's a super, um, you're not going to get a lot of um, sales from the platform, but you may sell something here and there. So, I mean, I don't, I didn't have any major issues with it. I just wasn't selling enough and just decided to cancel it. So um, Rebel still uses it. So if you have questions about it, you can definitely uh, get in touch with her. And she sold these for $79.15 plus shipping. And she got these at the Goodwill bins. 
They are Sid, the science kids, boy and girl, Gabriella, plush, about seven inches, stuffed animal toy. This is a lovey. This one is by Mud Pie. It's a lion lovey pink security blanket. And anytime I find loveys, I pick them up. And they are going to range from bread and butter to big money. Some of them can go for over $100 if you find the right ones. But people lose these or they get damaged and their kid wants it and they need a replacement. So they turn to eBay. This one actually sold for $55.15, which is fantastic. And it's super, super cute. And she got this at a pop-up consignment shop for $3. All right, Lola's Trunk Treasures. Uh, here is her eBay store. Again, large variety of items and definitely check her out down below and you can click see all. And you, if you don't know, you can follow eBay stores by clicking on the heart. So if you want to follow any of the stores down below, maybe they sell things that you like and you're interested in maybe purchasing, or you just want to follow them to see what else they're selling because they sell things similar to what you like to sell. It's a great way to learn. All right, let's see what she sold here. She sold these, the Tuttle Twins book series, lot of 12 books by Connor Boy's Kids. And she sold these four. She got them at the Goodwill for 99 cents each. And it looks like there's 12 of them. And she ended up selling these for $69.99 with free shipping. And they went media mail. So media mail is pretty uh, inexpensive to ship. It's a, it's a pretty good rate, but it does take a long time. Vilroy and Bach. Basket rim dinner plates, green lattice, lattice. No, it's not lattice. It's lattice, right? Lattice. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying. Lattice. Set of seven plates. Um, she sold these for $99.99 and she paid $18 for a huge lot at the Goodwill. So I think she's got other items uh, listed that are a part of the set. Here is the back. So really easy to look up because the information is right there. The next item she sold is this Martha Stewart punch. Now, I love finding the Martha Stewart punch. This one is drippy goo edge border punch Halloween. But what I want to draw your attention to is this fabulous photo. Oh my goodness. I have some punches listed and I just have a picture of the punch. But I will tell you that this is fantastic how she She's got the black background. Everything just pops. So kudos to her. That is amazing. Uh, she ended up selling this for $39.99 and the buyer paid shipping and she got this at the Goodwill for $4. Some of these Martha Stewart punches are um, discontinued. So they go for decent money, sometimes big money. All right. This one comes from Butterfly Hustles. Awesome YouTube channel. Go check her out. Um, she sources, but she keeps it educational. So she takes you into the thrift store with her and she is just as sweet as can be. So give her a sub. Show her some love with a sub. That's what I like to say. All right. She sold this Native American sterling silver black onyx belt buckle signed by J. Douglas Elgant. I don't know if I said that right, but here it is. How cool is that? She finds the most amazing stuff. Um, where did she get this? She got this at the Goodwill. <laughs> and, oh no, I'm sorry. She got this at a pawn shop. And she paid $25 for it and sold it for a best offer of $150. The next item she sold are these antique Nancy Ann storybook dolls. Lot of 20 with boxes, assortment, bisque, hard to find and cute. Look at these. So she got these at the Goodwill and she paid $65 for all of them. Are you guys ready for this? She sold these for $680.40 plus shipping. <laughs> Is that awesome or what? I love it. Um, the next item she sold is this uh, Krisha, C-H-R-I-S-H-A, Krisha. I think that's how you pronounce it. Playful plush white rabbit Easter bunny, 1988. How adorable. Um, Easter bunny plush, I always pick them up. It just seems like there's a good market for them. This one sold for $35.60 and she got it at the Goodwill for $1. The next item she picked up is these, uh, it's a set of ashtrays. They are glass gold rim, Grecian Roman Greek gold trim, four piece set. 
So here they are. And she sold these for $42.50 and she got them from a thrift store for $1.25. The next item she sold is this Roth Rosenthal Selb Bavaria Donatello Cup and Saucer Gold Accent Trim Fancy Delicate. Woo! That one was tough. All right. So she paid $35 for an entire set at a thrift store. And I think there were other items also, but it looks like she has sold six of these for $34.99 each plus shipping. So that is awesome. The next items come from the Funky Pickle Thrifter, and she is another Bolo Finder. So many Bolo Finders. Um, check out her YouTube channel. Her What Solds are amazing. She's going to tell you where she got it, what she paid for it, what she sold it for. And she finds stuff super cheap and sells it for big money. You are going to love her channel. But she is like my jewelry go-to, one of them. <laughs> I have a few, but she really knows her stuff and she will teach you. So Antique Jewelry Hall, Antique Jewelry Hall, check it out because you're going to learn from these videos. They are educational. Okay, let's see what she sold here. She picked up these Rampage the Movie uh, figures and she got these for $5 each. What a steal. If you don't know about this movie, these characters typically do well. There's one character in particular, it's this guy, but he's bigger that I have sold and he is a big money bolo. I've done pretty good with him, but she sold all of these for $149.99 and she's got $15 each, or I'm sorry, $15 total, $5 each. And she got those from the Goodwill. So that's a great price from the Goodwill. This is three yards of fabric. And, um, I think she was just giving me something different here that was maybe unexpected to help you guys learn. So I do appreciate even some of the ones that are not big money, but are kind of unexpected. This is a, um, it's fabric. It's three yards of fabric. Michael Miller, drama queen, comic strip novelty, fun retro. She got this in a fabric lot and it looks like um, she sold it for $34.99 plus shipping. The next item is this lot of two vintage Miracle Brooch Scottish Green Stone Terra Pin Scotland Celtic. And she said that this Miracle brand does pretty good. And it looks like they're signed here underneath. You can kind of see it right there. So they are signed. So that's what you need to look for. And she paid a dollar each for these and she sold them for $39.99 plus shipping. The next item comes from Vish or Vishi, sorry. And she does not have an eBay store, but if you use the link down below, it's going to take you into this uh, feed and you can see what else she has listed. So I'm just gonna kind of scroll through here. And again, that link will take you directly in here. And I like the list format. I know some people like the grid, but I, I just like list better. All right, let's see. She sold this Disney Mickey Mouse six-piece Christmas train by Danbury Mint. She got this at a tag sale for $1, which is unbelievable, and sold it for $59.50 plus shipping. Danbury Mint at a, an estate sale. I think a tag, is a tag sale an estate sale? I know our estate sale companies call them tag sales, but that's a really great price. Ours are not priced that way around here. She got this blanket. It's a Bob Timberlake home collection tapestry tapestry i don't know throw blanket winter birds made in the usa and these blankets it always cracks me up when these go for big money because i see them all the time and i walk right past them and i know a lot of people pick them up and do really well with them but i just skip them over i feel like it's going to be something that i'm going to sit on forever but then i see people selling them all the time <coughs> excuse me so let me know in the comments if you've sold these and how you've done with them she got this at the Goodwill bins and she sold it for $44.95 plus shipping. The next item is this Where the Wild Things Are. It is a hand puppet. It is plush and it is adorable. She got this at the Goodwill for $3.99 and sold it for $39.95. Now that is definitely something I would have picked up. How cute is that guy? The next item comes from Flippin' Palettes. This is her YouTube channel, and she hasn't been putting much out lately, which um, is a bummer because she's really fantastic. Uh, she did put out a video about her eBay account getting restricted, and um, it was something to do with uh, shipping items. Um, 
internationally. So definitely check that out so you don't make the same mistake. All right. So what did she sell? She sold this men's Rogaine unscented foam hair regrowth treatment. And she went to an Amish scratch and dent store and she paid $3.50 for this and it sold for $49 free shipping. And she, I think she said it sold really quick and she thought she probably could have got some more out of that one. Maybe she undersold it. This is a radio frequency RF skin lifting wrinkle removal tightening device anti-aging. So it's some sort of anti-aging device. Uh, she got this at, out of a pallet and it was approximately $12 and it sold the same day for $151.50 with free shipping. The next item is this Pure Tone Up Total Eye Fitness Serum. And flipping palettes, they do palettes, obviously. But one thing they do is they get a bunch of items and it's multi-quantity and they just keep selling the items over and over and over, which is great. Um, everybody has like their different things that they like to sell. And that is what is so great about eBay is that we can all sell what we love to sell. Uh, she sold, or this was approximately $3 a piece on a pallet and she sold four of them for $19.99 each. The next item is this brush head, three boxes, quip, white brush head refill, soft bristle electric toothbrushes. So they're refills for electric toothbrushes. These also came from that Amish store, $1.50 each. And she sold this for $23.90 and she still has three available. So again, just selling the same items over and over and over and just flipping for a profit. List it and forget it and wait for the buyers. Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, talk about a bolo finder. Um, she has a series on her channel. It's Let's Talk About It. And it's she picks a category and then she goes live and you guys can ask questions in the chat. And she teaches you about different things to sell. Like this last one here, vintage advertising, um, art supplies. Is her, wait, yeah, art supplies. It didn't, I didn't, there it is. I, I didn't see it in the title. I thought it was art supplies. Art supplies right here. And just different categories. So check out the um, her past videos also because they're super educational. Even though she's live, she's still like feeding you info on what to look for. And let's look at her bolos because she is definitely a bolo finder. And she picks up some of the most unexpected things. So this is a vintage Afghan crochet granny square handmade quilt. And she got this at an estate sale for $3 and she sold it best offer for $79.99. The next item she sold is this Litter Genie Ultimate Cat Litter Disposal System Refills Odor Control 4-Pack. And she got this for a dollar at an estate sale and she sold it for $69.99 plus shipping. The next item is this necklace. It is by Laurel Birch. It's hand-painted and it is a choker pendant necklace. So Laurel Birch, I typically pick up anything that I see that is her brand um, it ranges from bread and butter to big money. I recently picked up a purse. I still have to comp out and list, but I think I paid like two bucks for it at a garage sale. But she got this at an estate sale for $5 and sold it for $89.99 plus shipping. And then last item for Noel is this Santa's Marching Band Power Supply Replacement Part. Um, Noel, like I do, I also like to part things out. She likes to part things out. And she has a video that shows you how she parted this out. And she ended up selling this piece for $49.99 plus shipping. It's just the replacement part. The next items come from a rural squirrel. She has a channel and she mostly does bins videos and bins challenges. So she meets up with other YouTubers and they go into the bins and they have a challenge. And they're most of them are like up like. Both of them are at the same bins. It's super fun. Definitely subscribe. And let's see what she's... <laughs> I can't talk. I'm sorry. Let's see what she sold here. She said this is one of her favorites because she picked it up at the bins for 82 cents. And it is a Hobo International purse. It's got the original tags, genuine leather crossbody purse. She sold it for $124.99 plus shipping. I think she said she won one of her bins challenges with this. So I think that's why it's her favorite. And she sold these Free Bird by Steven leather laser cut lattice, lattice, <laughs> lattice booties. I think it's lattice now that I said it. 
and they are a size 10 and they are rare and hard to find. So she, um, oh, they were hers. So they were just, I, I think they were hers. <laughs> yeah, they were hers. And she sold these for a best offer of $90 and she picked them up on clearance for 25. So if you see that brand, definitely be on the lookout. I love this one. These are California hardware, vintage geometric print muscle pants. They're a jogger style California hardware. How funny is that? Look at that wild print. Um, definitely vintage, fun item. And she sold these for $40. It picked them up at the bins for about $1.50. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. There's going to be some other videos popping up here and here and a subscribe button down below. Um, I'd love for you to check out another video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not. If you turn on that little bell, that's going to alert you when I post videos. I would love it if you do that. And thanks for watching.